Hey guys, here's Andy from WebCompact. I have a special video for you today. I'm copying a website one-to-one -one and upload it onto my own folder. And I make sure that Google or Bing will not find out that this is a duplicate from another website. Okay? So let's go into this content. Have fun watching this video. And yeah, you know what to do. Okie dokie. So, I'm on the ClickBank site. I already opened uh, the marketplace and found Yoga Burn, what is actually the example today, what I have wanted to do. I go on to the affiliate page and, um, yeah, what I have always to do is read the terms of service. And you already see here that it does not allow me actually to build any website what looks like their own website. Yeah, they ask me to put any on any site I built the word review or something similar to this. And uh, I have to do that. And if I'm not doing that and they find out about this, uh, they will cancel my account, my affiliate account. I will be banned forever. And who knows, maybe I have even to pay back their, um, their commissions, already paid out commissions. So I put in my, my ID and... Uh, some just some placeholder for the ID and I am taking the huge back commission kickstart sales page I have to agree the terms of service and generate my hop link and put it or copying it in my clipboard onto my clipboard so this is done or you can even click here this button so, till here it was very easy to do. So now we have the hop link and now we go to build the landing page. Ah, let's have a look at the landing page. First go and open a new tab, enter, uh, paste your, your um, hop link into there and this is the landing page. What I'm going to do is now copying this site one by one and make it really, really, really simple, yeah? Um, for that, the idea is very simple. I take just screenshots of the screen of the website and put it together on my new website. So I have only pictures on that website, nothing more, only pictures. You got the idea? You have a website with only pictures on that website. And it's like you put some, some wallpaper, you, you we slice it in pieces and then you put them together. There are a couple of methods to do that. What you actually need is for sure you need a, a software to take screenshots of your screen and save those screenshots in a, on a folder, into a folder on your desktop. On MacBook, it's very nice because MacBook has inbuilt um, that screenshot version. You, everybody knows that. On a, on a Windows PC, you could actually push your Windows key, the Shift key, and the S key to open up the snippet tool. Yeah. And then you see already what happens here. So I could take a snippet and uh, go from here to here and take the picture and save it. Yeah, usually I'm not doing it like that. I use a software called Snagit. Uh, actually, it's the same software I'm using right now to record <laughs> this screen video. Or I use one of my other screen recorders. I have another one I love to use. It's actually very cheap to buy. It's called, I, I just showed you, Fast Zone Capture. Look for this. This is awesome. Um, just a tip. You, have, you find it on Google. And um, the nice thing with this software is, it's very easy to, to use. You can here <clears throat> choose what you want to do right away with the screenshot. Take it to an editor. You can even take it right away to your Photoshop or whatsoever editor 
or the, you can the, use the intern editor of this program. And you see, I have not to explain. The nice thing is I can go to settings here and um, set up an autosave. Just create a new folder. This way. Create a new folder and I just name that folder Yoga Burn. Yoga Burn. So that will be my new will be my new folder. And so that's for auto saving. I can even auto renaming file. So let's do this here. Yoga burn, and uh, it gives an automated number. Right? Anyway, do not need a lot. Reset. Okay. Now what happens if I use this screen recorder? It automatically saves uh, the pictures of the site. Um, okay, I don't like this one. It pops up too often. So let's take the first screenshot. So okay, okay. That would be my first screenshot. It's automatically saved. I go ahead. I take the next screenshot. Maybe till here to memorize where it'll close. It's not actually so important to close to get close by. So, folks, I did that now, and uh, the next thing is we go to you uh, to Google and search for this very nice and free software called Moby Rice. So, let's go to Google. Type in Moby Rice, enter, and then go just to download Moby Rice latest version, and then download the version you need for your PC. You just click on download, and uh, it asks you to choose a place to store the file, and then you open the file and uh, run it. Yeah, and. Uh, I do not need to explain how to <laughs> how to actually install this file, but um, yeah, it will be very easy after you've uh, you've done so far. You will be asked to log in. I will, let's open it. Hmm. Well, usually I'm not look. It will look like that. Sorry. So. So usually. You see this. If you have never ever any time logged into this uh, software, you can do with your Google or Facebook account or just type in your, your email address. <clears throat> After you type in the email address, if the email address does not exist on their server, they send you an email with a password. I logged in and uh, confirm. You will see this site, this page, wait, let, let me scroll this a little up so you see the entire thing. So maybe here, wait a sec, so fit it into that screen window. This is the thing what they ask for if you want to have full functionality and, and this um, big amount of templates that they have. But uh, the software at, at itself is for free, so you do not need that. Next thing is you, what you would do. Sites is for websites you build. Pages is for the pages inside the sites. So you would go for a new site. Just click on create a new site. You give that site a name. In our, in our example, we call it just Yoga Burn. You have to choose a theme for that because it needs to build uh, the website on any kind of theme. 
Um, this one is a very free one, uh, so has not many features and not many pre-built plugs and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, we do not want pre-play, pre-built any plugs. We just want to put our images there. And most important, make the website responsive because most of the users will see that on their mobile phone. Okay, so create new blog. And now we have to find the images and here we just take the first one here without any text and that's just a description. We take this one. There's a lot of actually pre-built blocks for free. So anyway, we take this and feel free to play with the, the software. It's awesome software. I'm building my own websites, but uh, since I discovered that, uh, sometimes the, the easiest and fastest way to put up a website, a good-looking website, very quick. Uh, with, even within half an hour. <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> unbelievable. So, I put it, this uh, sample picture here, so now I have the uh, possibility to add, edit this thing. First thing what I will do is uh, go on, click on it, on the picture by itself to upload a new picture. For this, for this, you know what I have to do. It's very simple. I need to click browse your computer. And now I go to my desktop folder, find Yoga Burn. And now you see this is the first image I up, uh, I uh, copied from the website. Let's put that in. You see I'm German, so that's why my English sounds so weird. <laughs> okay, put it there. <clears throat> so, next thing, if you want, you can already put here your affiliate link in. Yeah, let's have a look if you still find the affiliate link. Oh, it's not there. Then go back quickly to the yoga page and uh, put it again in onto your clipboard and then open this and paste it here. Okay, uh, ID tracking, uh, I will not show this today, but you find out yourself. Actually, this is the same thing what you would do with any other. Um, any other um, procedure to build a website. Usually you go to click magic and then you know you what to do, tracking your ID. I'm not doing that right now. Okay, maybe open in a new window, in this case better. Yeah, insert link. And then what you have to do, give this an alt tag. This is so important for SEO. In, you, in our case, we would just call this you burn and then make it review. So we tag the picture that it's uh, from a review site. So everybody who founds that picture by typing you burn into the image search of Google, find this picture, but with an extra tag of review. So then we click OK and have inserted that picture here. Then we click on the plot parameters and slide the top slider to the very left and even the bottom slider to the very left. And we get rid of the image description by clicking onto the text. So folks, this is step number one, step one. And uh, unfortunately, it's not a really big deal. There is no duplicate block um, little icon there on our side. So I have to just do the same thing again by clicking on add block to page. Choose again the same kind of block, click on it and uh, yeah browse my computer for the next picture click on open this time i will not insert the link <clears throat> but i will insert for zero reasons yoga burn review and uh, i click ok you see and uh, yeah we go ahead and take another picture, redo the same action, 
click browse our PC, take the third one, just do yoga burn, review, okie dokie, I forgot, uh, oh it's okay, I have to click here and remove the top and this and this and I, I think I had to do this here too, yeah right, I forgot to do it and remove the video description. Now the pictures are really touched together, there's no space in, in, in between and I do a last one, why not, it takes not that much time. To the last one, uh, again the same block, click on it, choose browse from computer, take the last, that will be my last one for today, you can go ahead if you like. Uh, let's make this picture again clickable with our link, web address, uh, Windows key and V to open the, the, com the complete uh, clipboard and uh, yeah, open this again in a new window, maybe better because it's a fake page. <laughs> Okie dokie, so, and here we have again Yoga Burn, Review, <coughs> and uh, for, for the alt tag, click OK, uh, go on this field, oh, we have to, no, no, sorry, so, OK, and You know what we could do? Let's see, full screen not, but full width. Yeah, let's do every, every, hey, come on. Full width, nice. Full width, and even this one. Ah, this one was full width. No, it was it? No, it wasn't. Full width, so. And now, that's it. And now we double check the view on, uh, on the phone, it's how it looks perfect. And we go preview in browser. And this is how the site looks in the browser and it's responsive. Let's see what happens if I squeeze. You see what happens. Isn't that perfect? That's awesome. And uh, you are done with, um, yeah. Let me just say, now this is perfect. I mean, there is no method faster than to rebuild on a secure way like this one. What you can do now um, is the next step. We, uh, we publish the site and um, I show you. <clears throat> Go back to desktop view. So we just click on publish. Ah, no, 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 wait, 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 sorry. We have to do a little SEO stuff. Go to sites, click Uppsala, not sites, sorry, on pages. Click on that little gear button here. Now give the page a title. Yoga Burn Review. Give it a nice page description. Yoga Burn is the best yoga program available online in 2021. Yeah, you will see here how the description, how it would look like on a mobile phone when somebody looks for your site. Here there will be um, your website later on, whatever um, whatever um, domain you choose. And that will be the description. Here we can do... Uh, so the next thing is what we can do, social sharing image. We, we click here and we choose a picture. We go to a site library, what we already uploaded, for example this one. Click on edit. Now we can even inside this editor, take it 4 to 3, hold your shift key 
and it keeps the dimension, the ratio, the measurements, and then click OK, and click here OK. And now when you share the link of your website, that's a so-called open graph image, um, Facebook or whatsoever, WhatsApp and any other messenger will show this image. You can take any image, you can make a nice image, uh, for example on Canva, go to Canva, you know Canva.com, this is an awesome program, you can just design something new, Instagram post, and then you design, uh, if I have a pro version, so I can even use their huge photo library and I can use the huge um, video library but for our case that would be a photo and uh, just type in yoga for example let's see let's see what happens yeah, take take this picture even this is gratis so in the credit card is version you will have this and uh, uh, maybe uh, you give a title Say yoga burn. Lighten it. Make it white. Center it. Uh, push the end on. Uh, take it. This. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> This is too too big. Yeah, maybe this one. Facebook post, close and done. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, not done. Not by Facebook veröffentlichen. Download as a JPEG. Make it not that big. And. Uh, in the free version, maybe you're not able to resize the picture, but we will be totally fine. Give it a name on my download folders. Go back to <coughs> click on this, <coughs> browse your computer, upload, go to the, the folder you just. I, yeah, 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 don't jump back on me. So here, go to this folder I just downloaded, so that's it. Click OK. Now we have, we have this picture. Perfect, perfect. Um, is there any more to look at? Mm. Well, this is good so far. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So, after we've done with that, ah, um, I just found out. I was a little confused. You could hear that um, because I was a little hesitating. Ah, pages. I was wondering where's the rest? But. Um, Usually, I have here the possibility um, to, you know, to enter scripts in the head tag script or in the for the body tag script or for the footer tag script. What is actually important if you do SEO and if you do, if you want, for example, insert a Google Tag Manager script or a Facebook pixel, it does not offer me it here right now. If I do want, don't want to buy this one here. And uh, I really insist of having this. Then what I have to do when I oops, Allah, publish my site, actually I click on publish, we have two possibilities. I can put the site right on MobiRice's server for free. I do that once, let's do that. You burn uh, and um, publish and let's see what happens. It's creating the site, and uh, after a while, it is done with creating 
and then you can click on just view side on you can let's have it here you can see the site that's what you get if you post it for free i mean if you don't want to pay for it but this is the site does it look awesome you see here on this side when i hover over over the picture i will be forward to that side <laughs> that's it yeah okay so you see this is this is perfect yeah it's perfect the side looks awesome the side looks awesome if i squeeze it look what happens it it it's so called responsive so it adjusts to the screen size of whatever you watch on it this is absolutely perfect amazing and uh, everything what you see here is not text it's a picture so google's search engine robots are not able to screen this the, um, the images for text so the nice thing is the image is tagged with your website and uh, with your review website so if somebody types in for example you a yoga burn review and is on this on the um, image on the image search of google this picture will show up so maybe he's clicking on the picture just to see what it is and then he's on that side and he clicks on the picture again and he will forward be forward to the other side what actually is the sales page the original sales page looks exact the same yeah and uh, that's it so we go back um, here you can give your you can connect to your own domain what, what would i would i have never done that what what will happen then i'm not sure but usually what i do what i usually do i click on publish again and then i just i just say local drive folder i browse for a nice place in this case let's do have just the, the desktop again maybe this folder we take this folder and uh, inside this folder will be set all the the, the the files and folders we need for the website let's do that yeah it's already done let's have it let's have a look so you see that's what we what we need actually we do not need this one the project file we no, don't not do need those pictures what we have to do is let's have a look inside this there's a couple of folders inside so what i'm usually do is i take the asset folder and the index folder click on my right my right mouse and compress it <coughs> I have to take zip for for web and i compress it to a zip file so that i can easily upload it to on my hosting account so here we are yeah ladies and gentlemen that would be now the last step what we do we put this file onto our server and uh, yeah and then we can run our facebook ads or whatsoever let's do that last step for today oh it's already 32 minutes long my goodness okie dokie so in this case i go to one of my server sites mm, let's be name hero i love name hero it's super fast you will find the link down in the description it's really super fast you will find the link down in the description and uh, it's an affiliate link but if you need hosting i can really really recommend their service it's awesome really fast they have perfect support um, when there is any problem you just can call them you can text them on a live chat if you ask them to check your website 
then they, you just have to give them their your credentials and then they, they log into and they fix it even for that. I mean, I do not need that, but some of my customers said that's possible, so it's nice. Okie dokie. So I'm here on the site and um, what I do first is I create a subdomain for this purpose. I'm using my Dr. Well. Well, where are you, Dr. Well? Live. And I give the subdomain Yoga Burn. Yeah, this is step number one. Step number two, I go onto my file manager, bound Yoga Burn at the very end, go on upload, select file. Go on to desktop, oh, there was desktop, yoga burn, choose yoga burn and uh, click open, it uploads. So now we click on go back to our um, file manager, click the yoga burn and just extract it here. Perfect. Close the button. Now we have the index file in the root of this folder. Uh, it should already be live. Let's check that out. Yoga burn dot doctor well dot live and click the enter button and look what we have. It loads the pictures and uh, everything is perfect. Yeah. My dear friends, that's for today, for today's video. Hope this is very helpful for you if you like my video. And then check out this really, really small channel at this very moment. When you come later to this video, maybe I have already 50 or 100 videos there. But today it's only three videos. That's the third one. So please like the channel, like this video. Click on, uh, you know, the subscription button. You know what to do, okay? Most important, be happy, be healthy, stay healthy, and be su successful. So, Andy from Germany says hello. Bye-bye.